Within your groups on the Light Shark, there is now the ability to add a two dimensional layout for use with building effects later. This will work with any group you've created yourself. As you can see here, many of the groups that come when you patch the console have, say, auto underneath them. In fact, all of them do until you create your own groups. Auto groups will always be in order by fixture number from low to high. However, if you create your own groups, you're able to then set up a 2D layout, which then will be followed for effects. Let's do an example. Here, I'm just going to use this group, the Alpha Q Wash 800s. So I've selected it. I'm going to record a new group so that I have a group that I've created. Now I'll hold on it to give it a name. And I can also give it a color to signify uh, its meaning to me in the rig. You can set the color however you'd like. Press OK. Now we have a color code. If we press edit and then press the group, we're now brought into the 2D layout. Because this only has 10 fixtures, I'm zoomed in quite closely. However, I can use two fingers or a scroll wheel to zoom out or zoom in. If I lose my place, I can recenter using this icon and I can switch between selection mode and movement mode using these icons here. Now I want to arrange my fixtures, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And with these fixtures, I have them on the sides of my stage up to down. So what I can do is I can grab the first set by drawing a box around them and then select the starting point where I want them to start. Now I'll grab my second half and create a point for them to start here. Now I'll center them vertically. So I'm just going to select each fixture and place it in the vertical plane. This mimics my layout on stage, which is going to help a lot in a minute. Now this is laid out just like my stage. I can also assign steps to some of my units. So I can highlight them, press the step number, and they're now color coded to a new step. Steps can be used in the advanced effects portion of the effects generator. Once you're done, press exit, press yes to save, or you can press no or cancel to say on the current screen. And now I've saved my layout and I'm able to use that layout within my effects.